Okay. All right. Welcome to the Brain Joe Virtual Classroom for the uh, tab walkthrough for Will the Circle Be Unbroken? This is for the uh, version. This is a Brain Joe Level 2 version, so fairly straightforward uh, one, and it's the one that you'll find in the easy but awesome uh, book of tabs, uh, and you can find a link to download that uh, in the video description uh, on this uh, video below. Uh, this There's also a tablature available in the Breakthrough Banjo course uh, inside the vault uh, for a um, level two version for this song as well. So this is a uh, classic folk song, classic bluegrass banjo song, uh, popularized by the Carter family. It consists of one repeating melodic unit, and uh, so works very well on the banjo in the key of G. And so that's what we're going to be uh, covering here. So um, I will, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and I'm going to move to the tab view here. All right, so at the top of the screen there, uh, we have the tab for uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And before we begin, let's just make sure we're in the right tuning. So again, we're going to be in standard G. So we've got D on the fourth string, G on the third, B on the second, D on the first, and a G on the fifth. Okay? And before we get into it, um, let's just uh, make sure that we have the melody for this song in our heads this is a nice, uh, memorable melody. So it's a good song to learn early on for that reason. And it's good to make sure we have it in our minds as we're working through this tab. So it goes like this. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a bear home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. All right, and that's that's the refrain, but the verse and chorus are exactly the same melody. So that's the repeating unit that goes throughout the entire song. So let's keep that in mind as we're mo moving through this tune, and I'll try to keep reorienting you to that melody as we move through it. All right, so um, let's get started. This uh, Remember at the top of the screen, uh, I will use this little blue box to keep track of where I am at any given point in time, so which measure I'm on, I will um, use that blue box to denote. So we're going to begin um, with a little pickup measure. So we're in the in the melody there is will the. So we've got the open fourth, and then we're going to do a pull off from the fourth string fourth string second fret to the open fourth string, and I'm playing all of that with my thumb. Okay, that's the pickup measure, and the next measure we just have we're on the we're on a G chord, so we open strings of the banjo, play the open third followed by a pinch, sir. All right, and then we've got third string, second string, both open, uh, in middle and index, and then fifth string, first string, both open, middle. I mean with thumb and middle. So that whole measure. Circle. So let me play through just this, this melody that we're playing in this top part right now. So that's what we, that's the melody for the bars that are at the top of the screen right now, okay? So, so far we've got. So we've been, we're just banjifying that melody. All right, so the next measure, we've got the open fourth followed by a pinch. Now we've got B on. So we're going to do the second string open, first string open with index and middle. Then we're going to play second fret of the third string with our thumb. And then the open first with the middle. And I'm fretting that second fret with my middle finger. So that whole measure. more time. Now, next measure, 
open third again, followed by a pinch, throw, and then the open second, Ken, and then we're gonna play fifth string, first string. And again, remember banjo is melody plus decoration. So remember I played that simple, straightforward little melody. All these other notes are just decorations and there's really endless numbers of possibilities of what we could do here. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. And I'll just sing that. Will the circle be unbroken? All right, that's what we have so far. Let's move on to our next set of measures. Again, if you have any questions as I'm running through this live, feel free to ask in the chat box. I'm just going to check real quick. Looks like we're okay. All right. Um, next measure, we have again open third followed by a pinch. <clears throat> then we've got second string, first string, both open, index middle. And then second fret of the third string, play that, pick that with a thumb, and then the open second with the index. So that whole measure. So this 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 melody is now going to. So that's what we now have at the top of the screen. That's the melody we're playing. All right. So the next measure. Now we've moved to we're moving to a C chord. So we want to put our fourth our our um, middle finger on the fourth string second fret, third string is open, index is on the first string of the second fret, ring is on second fret of the first string. And we play uh, third string open followed by a pinch. And then we're gonna hammer on, we're gonna release our middle finger from that fourth string, play it open and then hammer on to that second fret again. And then you'll see there that it's at, as you're hammering on, it's indicated to play the second string while we're fretting at the first fret like this. Now if that's tricky at all for you, ignore that for now and just play the hammer on and then fifth string, first string as it's indicated. So that whole measure without that would be. And if you add that second string, like the first fret as indicated, it would sound like this. Bye and bye. So then now, now the next measure, we've got third string, second string. We're still holding down our C chord, so we don't do anything else with our fretting hand except do that. So play those first two notes, thumb and index. Then fifth string, first string with middle with uh, thumb and middle. So those first four notes. And then open third. And then thumb and middle again. Well, I mean fourth string and first string. So that whole measure, Bye. and now we're going back to the G chord, so we're going to release our fingers, have open strings, play the fourth string open with our thumb, and then a pinch, and then fourth string open followed by second string open with our index, and then fifth string, first string. So that whole measure. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Sorry, one more time. to the next measure. We've done this before. Open third followed by a pinch. And then we've got um, open fourth followed by the uh, sec open strings uh, second <laughs> the second string open with the index and then fret the fourth string at the second fret. Play that followed by the open first. So that whole measure time 
Now we've got a slide here from the fourth fret of the fourth string to the fifth fret. And we're in the melody, we're going better, better. So we'll just do that slide there. I do that with my middle finger and then follow that with a pinch, fifth string and first string. And then open third, followed by open second, middle and index. And then fifth string, first string, middle, um, in, uh, thumb middle. So that a whole measure. Better. And then open fourth string, followed by pinch. Now we've got a slide on the second string from second fret to third fret. Playing that with my index. Um, so the slide and then fifth string uh, and then open second string with our index. So that whole measure. Oh, sorry, I played the next note of the, of the, of the next measure. So that full measure there is. Now we're gonna come to the open first string with our middle finger. And then fifth string, first string. And then we have second string, first string, index, middle. And then fifth string, first string, thumb, middle. So that a whole measure. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Sorry, one more time. Reaching the end, <clears throat> we're gonna play open third followed by a pinch again. Now we just have in the sky, Lord, in the sky. So we play open third followed by open second. Thumb and index. And then a pull off, third uh, string second fret to the open third, picking that with a thumb. In the so that whole measure. In the more time. We're gonna do a slide on the third string, second fret to fourth fret, picking with a thumb. And that the melody's going sky. So that slide, and then we have fifth string, first string, thumb middle, and then back to uh, third string, second fret, and followed by the open first, and then release. Play the open third, followed by the open first. So that whole measure. And the melody there is going sky. And now we're moving to a D chord. And I'm going to finger a partial D chord here. Index finger on the second fret of the third string. Ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And I'm going to play third string, second string, holding that chord and pick that with the thumb in the middle and then fifth string first string and then I'm going to bring pinky down to the fourth fret of the uh, third string and play that with my thumb followed by the open second and then release my pinky play the second fret of the third string followed by the open first so that whole measure. Sorry, I played the last note. That whole measure is just this. <laughs> and now we conclude sky, the last note of the song. Now, that's held for a whole measure, so if you wanted to do a little fill there, that'd be fine. So everything you see at the top of the screen sounds like this. Sorry, one more time. That 
is the uh, full tab for this song. Will the circle be unbroken? Um, I will, uh, let's see, I'm going to zoom it out here so that I can see the whole thing and just play it for you from start to finish so that you kind of have a sense of how the whole thing should sound. All right. Okay, let me zoom my view out here, get my head back. Okay, all right. So here's, uh, I'm just gonna play this arrangement slowly from start to finish. Hopefully you can hear the melody in there. That's one of the advantages of using a song like this with such a strong melody, is to really help you understand where the melody is falling within the context of a banjo song, since so many of the notes that you're playing are not melody notes, but are filler notes. But it's really important that you know where the melody is so that you can be accentuating that in these arrangements and so that you won't have the problem of learning to play the banjo and then saying, I can't, I can't hear the melody anymore in this song. And that's a common lament. So using songs like this and really understanding where the melody is as you're doing it is super important um, as, you're, uh, as you're learning to help you uh, make sure that you're always keeping that emphasis on the melody of a song. All right, that's it for this uh, edition, and I will see you in the next workshop.